You're listening to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Wrap on Desert Rock FM 96.5. Welcome back to the Weekly Batuta Bulletin. Been a busy week. Been a busy week this week. Uh, we've had Are You OK Day. Oh, by the way, I didn't ask, Are You OK, Clancy? Uh, no, it's too late now anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, no, I feel funny in answer to your question because I... And it happens every day, but what happens is I rotate between kind of Joe Rogan-esque meal plans or just full-blown fast food. Yeah. As an Australian male, it's kind of what I do. Um, And I have this habit of drinking soft drink when I get thirsty Mm. as opposed to as a treat. So, yeah, I feel kind of weird most days. Yeah. Um, You know, when you overeat, uh, fast food particularly, and high sugar and high salts. And then I obviously would spend four to five hours scrolling social media an evening and then because I drink coffee as well uh, not normal coffee but like through you know iced coffees uh, caffeine anyway plus all the coca-cola I don't really get to sleep till about three most nights and I'm looking at the screen the entire time so um, yeah there's a lot going on yeah and then I've obviously got to get up early and then I go to the gym and uh Mostly, I don't have like a varied workout. I just mostly do chest and arms with my noise cancelling headphones in, playing the music, you know, like pump up music, like the presets. So not much social interaction there. And then on weekends, I game. So no, uh, I feel weird most of the time. (laughs) I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. Um, People have suggested I go see a GP, but um, I think it's better to just talk about it. Yeah, I think so too. (laughs) How about you? Um, I'm good. I'm good. What am I up to? Oh, I've heard back from Wendell. And yes. he has gotten into Burgoyne, apparently. Oh, good. Yeah, well, he has those. It was apparently. Has those pants, I think. It was the pants. And um, apparently, you know, he was lining up for hours and he had the bandages on his nipples because of the multiple nipple surgeries. And they looked at him and they're like, "That's that man is wearing really good fetish gear. We'll, we'll let him kinky in. And shit. Yeah, he's a kinky, kinky boy, so we're going to let him in. He went into the dark room, I believe. Yeah. Um, uh, he'll be a different man when he gets back. I remember my first time there. So what else? Um, I'm going to a drag cabaret show in the French Quarter tonight, which will be fun. Hell yeah. Yeah. No one does it like the French Quarter. Will you be gaming for the rest of the weekend, you reckon? Yeah, maybe. Or I might, um, I don't know, maybe like kind of go hunting. But it's not really legal what I do. I'm, I, I, you know, I've been obviously shooting with Errol before. Yeah. Uh, it's not that illegal, but... You know, just playing with guns alone in the bush, kind of, um, you know, people start asking questions that I don't want them asking about my personal life. So. Yeah, true. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just play video games where mm. I'm obviously shooting. You could, do, you could play shooting games. I'll yeah. play shooting games the whole time. Today's podcast is brought to you by NordVPN, which keeps your devices malware-free and your browsing safe from strangers' eyes. And, most importantly, allows you to freely watch overseas content without any restriction, such as American Netflix or streaming sports while you're travelling. I hear Wendell has been making the most of his NordVPN trial to tune into his beloved Summer Heights High reruns. Wouldn't have taken him for a Chris Lilly fan. There you go. Yes, NordVPN will give you swift access to content from all over the world and are currently offering an exclusive deal for Batuta listeners. Yep, and to take advantage of this free trial, go to nordvpn.com forward slash Batuta, which is risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. But yeah, what's in the news this week? Well, starting off, and a HR manager agrees... That sucks, but have you considered shutting the fuck up and pretending you're okay? Yes, junior accountant Kaylee Weathersford has unfortunately learnt the hard way that in most corporations, human resources, or people that are now called culture managers, are not there to help you. It's alleged Kaylee went to the HR lady, Gail, with a complaint about her manager, citing that the constant barrage of mean-spirited and crude comments was heavily impacting her mental health and making it difficult to come into work every day including some very inappropriate comments about her makeup and excellent birthing hips. Sadly, there was no justice for Kaylee. As Gail said, she she totally understands where she's coming from. But, you know, has Kaylee thought about just getting over it and shutting the fuck up? I'm guessing that did not happen on Are You OK Day. No, no there were no cupcakes in the room. 
And up next, the nation shocked the same old man who thought gays should stay the fuck away from marriage also think Indigenous people should stay the fuck away from Parliament. In case you haven't been across the news lately, Australia's media pundits and political commentators are mortified by the Albanese government's decision to hold a national referendum over whether or not we should include Aboriginal people in the Constitution. While the concept of an Indigenous voice does seem like an unprecedented approach to these issues, especially for our traditionally risk-adverse nation, the government has clearly indicated that the Indigenous voice will not have any veto powers over Australian lawmaking or tradition and will serve only as an advisory body. The Murdoch media and Liberal Party's hysterical fear that letting Indigenous people into Parliament House is somehow an affront to the power structures that have served them so well is reminiscent of their fear that allowing gay couples to get married would result in bestiality. Australians, as a whole, are not surprised that these same exact multimillionaires who live in nice waterfront suburbs miles away from any of the catastrophic socio-economic issues facing Indigenous people are so staunchly opposed to changing anything that might empower our most vulnerable citizens. And up next, girl who's always late naively thinks that everyone else also finds it a quirky and endearing habit. Yes, yeah, a local woman who has no consideration for other people's time has this week been informed that no one else thinks it's an endearing quality, despite her numerous attempts to rebrand it to a quirky character trait that she has absolutely no control over. Often using the excuse, I just lost track of time. Danielle Hobbs just expects her mates to be totally okay with her rocking up 30 minutes past the agreed time every time, whether it's a one-on-one coffee, group outing, or even to the movies. And if they do have a go at her, it's not her fault. Her brain just works differently. It's alleged some of Danielle's mates have even started lying about the time of the event in an attempt to combat her chronic tardiness, but cite that that still only has roughly a 30% success rate which has prompted a number of them to crack the shits and stop inviting her anywhere. And lastly, I think this might be your GP, Clancy. (laughs) A 65-year-old GP takes off stethoscope after a long, hard day of fat shaming and telling depressed people to buy some runners and wake up to themselves. A visit to his local GP at Batuta Heights Family Medical Centre today confirmed that as Dr. Michelle Jones ordered Big Dennis up on the scales and what she saw chilled her blood. She asked me how many kids I had. I've got two, he said. Dr. Michelle told me I'd probably have a stroke or a heart attack before they finished school if I didn't start to look after myself. She said I was on the wrong side of the obesity bell curve, making me way too morbidly. Instead of prescribing me something like a Zempic or a gastric sleeve, Dr. Michelle told me to wake up to myself and start putting in less than what I put out. Dennis gave Dr. Michelle permission to discuss his visit and recent health with the advocate in the hopes that it will spread the message that some doctors are bullies and unhelpful. You don't see people as big as Dennis making it to old bones, do you? She said. It's a thrill and you stay fit doing it. People like Dennis need to get a kick up the ass, and sometimes people like that need to hear it. Controversial views in this day and age. I, uh, I wish good luck to both of them. An unorthodox approach to life and an unorthodox approach to medicine. None of that applies to me. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for tuning in to the Batuta Advocate Weekly Bulletin. See you later.